What are your thoughts on adopting a plant-based diet in order to decrease greenhouse gases and prevent global warming? Uh, what are my thoughts on having a plant-based diet to reduce carbon footprint and, and fix global warming? That, that's what you're saying. Is that the question? Yes. Yeah, so there's no doubt about it. If we all, if everyone were, became vegetarian overnight, you would reduce the carbon footprint. But generally, some of the biggest part of the carbon footprint is transporting food. Okay, this is why you want to eat locally to minimize that if you can. Now, I'm, as a scientist, and as a big fan of engineering solutions to problems, rather than give up my 16-ounce ribeye, what I might do instead, so what is this? You didn't hear the rest of my sentence, okay? Uh, by the way, cows don't actually exist in the wild. We invented them to turn grass into steak. <laughs> Genetically manufactured cows. Just the way we genetically man we created dogs. They're not dogs, they're, not, they're wolves. And we said, Wolf, you, you, you might bite me. Let me mess with your DNA and turn you into a lap dog. <laughs> so, what was I talking about? So, what I'm thinking is what I'd rather do is invent a way perhaps to. Scrub CO2 out of the atmosphere. So then that we can bury it from whence it came. And that would be a solution that where not much else actually has to change. And then you can completely and, and you would control what the exact carbon signature is in the atmosphere. Turn on the machine, turn off the machine. If it whirls a little too cold, warm it up a bit. That'd be an interesting <laughs> exercise in geoengineering. We kind of do that anyway. Floodplains. All right, we say, "Oh, that was too much water. Let's guide it into this channel, rather than let nature have its way with us. Guide it into this channel to avoid flooding here or there. And if it doesn't work, we improve upon it so that we can live how we want." So, uh, I'm a fan of solutions to problems more than I'm a fan of saying, "Oh my gosh, it's a problem. Let's run away. Let's jack." Oh my God, I, you know, I, I want to sit down and say, how do I solve that? How do I solve, and by the way, let me to, to at least throw a bone back in your direction. Until that happens, we need to do something serious, like, like, work on convincing people in charge that global warming is real in the first place. <laughs>